fire water system this lecture is part of the lecture series on steam power plant systems it may be useful for plant operating staff this is a typical layout diagram for fire water system the same diagram as in previous slide but little bigger in size for your convenience in this diagram we can see raw water input to the fire water storage tank then we are having electric motor driven fire pump diesel engine driven fire pump and a jockey pump then we are having a hydro pneumatic tank in which air compressor is giving compressed air and this jockey pump gives in case of need water to this hydro pneumatic tank the pump output is going to the spray system hydrant system and the foam concentration tank then we are having a foam proportional and output of this in case of need goes to the fuel oil storage tank in case of fire in the fuel oil storage tank request it is hoped that this session is going to be useful to you please press like button please subscribe this channel यह लेक्चर हिंदी में भी उपलब्ध है फायर वाटर सिस्टम द फायर प्रोटेक्शन सिस्टम यूजेस फायर वाटर पंप्स बोथ इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर ड्रिवन एंड डीजल इंजन ड्रिवन टू प्रोवाइड रॉ वाटर टू हाइड्रेंट सिस्टम एंड spray systems the hydrant system mains and the spray system mains are normally charged to 1 mega pascal pressure the entire fire water network is kept pressurized by one hydro pneumatic tank and pressure in this tank in turn is maintained by an air compressor in the event that there is a fall in water level in the hydro pneumatic tank it is replenished with the help of a jockey pump hydrant system the hydrant system essentially consists of a large network of piping which feeds pressurized water to a number of hydrant valves located throughout the entire power station in the event of a fire fire hoses are coupled to hydrant valves and jets of water are then directed towards the fire spray system there are 
two sections in the spray system the automatic spray system and the manually operated spray system automatic spray system the automatic spray system detects and then controls and extinguishes any outbreak of fire automatically the water supply to this system is controlled by pneumatically operated deluge valves the water line forms a ring around the equipment to be protected the air pipe also forms a ring around the equipment to be protected and frangible bulb type detectors are mounted on air lines at selected points when the surrounding temperature exceeds the rated temperature of detectors the frangible bulb collapses releasing compressed air the consequent fall in compressed air pressure opens the deluge valve and water starts coming out through nozzles toward the hot zone this system protects generator transformers station transformers unit auxiliary transformers circulating water system transformers coal handling plant transformers etc manual spray system in a manually operated spray system fire is detected either visually for example at the turbine lube oil tank area or near outdoor low tension transformers or by the use of heat detectors around indoor low tension transformers upon detection of fire the operator would manually open the valve to put the spray system into service detectors there are two types of detectors used in various areas of a plant the linear heat sensing cable type used to detect fire in a coal handling plant mill reject handling system etc and smoke detectors used to detect fire in cable vault cable spreader room etc foam supply the heavy fuel oil oblique light diesel oil tank areas are equipped with a foam supply system in the event of a fire in a tank foam is injected into the tank to extinguish it jockey pump a jockey pump also known as a pressure maintenance pump maintains the pressure in the fire sprinkler system to avoid non emergency starting of the 
main fire pump. This keeps the main fire pump from short cycling, which shortens its life span. Request It is hoped that this session was useful to you. Please press like button. Please subscribe this channel. यह lecture हिंदी में भी उपलब्ध है